Welcome back to Drive Time. The Institute of Justice and Reconciliation will present its 2012-2013 Reconciliation Award to Socioeconomic Rights Institute for keeping the Americana victims and their families on the national agenda at an event to be held at 6 Spring Street on November 27, 2013. Through the Reconciliation Award each year, the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation, known as the IGR, recognizes those who make special efforts towards bringing South Africans together in the spirit of justice and reconciliation. Online is the IGR. Our spokesperson Zian Davis to tell us more about this. Zian, welcome to the show. Hello, Bonga. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for joining us. Good. It's an absolute pleasure. Now, let's start at the beginning. What is the Reconciliation Award? Uh, just briefly introduce us to that. Sure. Um, so let me first take a moment to just tell you about the Institute. Um, we were formed in the aftermath of the TRC process in 2000. And um, it's our mission now to ensure that we help contribute towards the building of fair, just and inclusive societies across not only in South Africa, but across the continent. And so the Reconciliation Award is the award that we um, give out annually to an individual, as you mentioned, an organization or even a business um, that we feel has significantly contributed towards bringing South Africans together. Um, this will be the t- uh, 12th award that we'll be handing out mm-hmm. for the year 2012. And so the efforts made during that period um, are considered and then it's issued in the following year, which is obviously this year. Now, Morigana is a, some, an event in South Africa that's still very uh, traumatic and is very, very still very raw as a wound. And you've identified uh, Social Economic Rights Institute as one of the organizations that has led the fight to keep in the national agenda. What made you look at them and say, you know what, they've done so much, let's give them this award? Yes. Well, um, the, the Marikana Commission of Inquiry mirrors for us a lot of the issues that were raised during the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And IJR really sets out to put the victims of such horrendous crimes and injustices at the forefront of all these processes. So we really want to ensure that victims and their families um, are compensated, not necessarily financially, but compensated in a way that um, reinstates their dignity after such traumatic events. And so um, we considered the Socioeconomic Rights Institute of South Africa because um, we really feel that they have made significant efforts towards ensuring that um, the struggles of these families and the victims' families are um, maintained and considered continuously considered so that it doesn't fall off of our talking points and so that when issues like Marikana are sensationalized, um, when the issues become, when people talk about the issues, we always remember who suffered the most during instances such as these. Um, And so SERI, uh, sorry, that's the shortening for the Socioeconomic Rights Institute, um, the organization represents before the Marikana Commission of Inquiry 36 of the families of the striking mine workers who were killed in August of 2012. Um, Oh, sorry. I was also just going to say that SERI represents the Association of Mine Workers and Construction Union also at the commission. Now, uh, the commission is still ongoing and SERI is is obviously representing these Marikana mining workers and their families. What do you think uh, this signifies? Is this a civil uh, civil society at its best when something like this happens and the organization devotes its time and also its resources to helping some of those who cannot be able to afford themselves the kind of help they need right now? Yes, so um, SERI is one of those organizations who have really gone out of their way to offer um, um, just informing, helping to inform civil society about the socio-economic rights um, and, you know, the right to adequate standards of living, particularly for vulnerable groups in South Africa. Um, and so Marikana, the um, uh, Marikana case is a case in point of the efforts that they do, but it's really about helping to inform South Africans about what their rights are, about what they deserve, and about what they have the right to fight for. Um, And so it's about mobilizing communities to help them find their voice based on what their rights are in this country. Now, uh, for the uh, when will the event be taking place? One to honor uh, Siri, and also who will be there? Just give us a bit of a breakdown as to what will be happening and where. Sure. So um, the event happens at 6 Spin Street in Cape Town on the 27th of November, which is next week, Wednesday, and it starts at 4.30. Um, It is open to the public, but seating is extremely limited. Um, So we do want to encourage anyone who wants to attend to please email info at IJR.com. 
www.rsvp.org. That's ZA. Unfortunately, you can't just come to the event. You have to RSVP first, and then we'll let you know about availability, and um, we will put you on the guest list then. So it's um, a process just to ensure that nobody arrives and then is disappointed because there's no space because the venue is quite small. Um, and like I said, the event starts at 4.30, and we are um, going to be hosting our beloved patron, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Um, he will actually be handing over the award to the organization. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've also got a um, panel discussion happening at the event. And the panel discussion will be on socioeconomic rights um, and economic justice and reconciliation. Um, And the panel will feature a um, representative from Investec Asset Management, um, Teboko Mosekile, who is the Director of Litigation at SERI. And then um, also a youth participant, Carla Bernardo, because we feel that the youth voice is, of course, very important in this conversation as well. Um, and the panel will be moderated by award-winning journalist and author Zubeda Jaffa. Okay. Now, Ziad, I want to just break away a little bit from the event and come to word reconciliation. We've been talking about this word ever since we've gained democracy in South Africa. Do you think we're making strides into this or we're just talking generic and not making any effort to make sure that we come together and really, really uh, live up to the true meaning of reconciliation? That's a great question, Bonga. As we prepare to go into our 20th anniversary of democracy in this country, um, we at the Institute have really also been asking ourselves that exact question. We want to ensure that reconciliation doesn't become just a concept that's thrown around and used conveniently for the powers that be, but rather that it's a, a concept that's really engaged with. And something that we consider constantly um, is how relevant reconciliation is. Um, so th- that is why we're talking about socioeconomic rights at the moment, is because we feel that that is really the way that reconciliation needs to move. We need to find ways to reconcile with each other more tangibly so that there's um, a greater link between the haves and the have-nots, so that that bridge is um, is uh, crossed and so that there's not these distinct differences in our society. And that is also why the panel discussion is um, going to be focusing on economic justice and reconciliation, how the two are linked, how there cannot be reconciliation if there are still such significant divides in our society, financially, socially. Um, And so we really want to move the conversation of reconciliation into something that is more relevant um, 20 years later. And those are the words of Communications Officer Zian Davids of the IJR talking to us about the uh, Suri Award, the Reconciliation Award, rather. They're representing the Socioeconomic Rights Institute on uh, next Wednesday at 16.35. 16.15 it starts. She did say that if you want to attend, uh, rather email to RSVP at reconciliationaward at gmail.com. Or also you can uh, try to uh, phone Zian there and they'll be able to give you some cities. Zian, thank you for joining us here on Voice of Cape Draft Time. Until next time and good luck for the event. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye.